Good morning, Robert Davis back with you. Hey, this morning I'm going to uh, head back to our roots in Delphi and uh, I'm going to talk about and walk through uh, setting up a utilities unit for your whole application in Delphi. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll uh, come over here to Delphi. And I've got this application I've been working on, and I'll show you what's up with that. So here we go. <clears throat> Here's the main form, and uh, let me show you what's going on here. Start this up. And uh, what we have is... Uh, your typical edit form and you can have an edit list scroll through those but you notice as we scroll through them uh, or we use the DB Navigator the uh, title panel updates with name date of birth age calculated pretty much to the day and a phone and email for contacts because you might need that uh, so it, whichever uh, notebook tab you go to page tab you go to um, I don't have these laid out yet but uh, that updates now you can imagine that if you had to write this Every time the event fired, you had to write the same code for it, uh, depending on what you're going to do. Well, that's not necessary in a language like Delphi, um, where you can create your own unit of general functions, procedures, methods, um, global variables, that kind of thing. You can... Uh, put it in a separate unit and call it from virtually anywhere in your program. So let's look at, we got that standard uh, data module here. If it'll come up, yeah. And then here's the utilities module and I call it U utilities. And uh, this is where I call the update title panel procedure and do all the calculations that that make that happen. If I had to write that into every event that it got used in, well, that'd be a lot of ridiculous over and over coding. So we do it this way. Um, also, the you'll notice that this uses both units uh, in the program and then we have sys utils date utils and variants is used in here but this uh, utilities unit is program wide and so if you want for instance a procedure or a function to be global to the application or the program you declare it in the interface and in this case I have procedure update title panel and down here I have the whole code for that and uh, you can see it's a it's a busy little guy so uh, so when we run the application I just use the scroll after scroll event and of course, whenever you start up the application, the after scroll event is fired because it scrolls to the very first record in the data set. And we get this title panel created for us. 
uh, through the utilities unit that uh, the application uses and uh, you can see as we scroll it it updates and uh, I used the one decimal point on the age so you can tell if they're just had a birthday or if they're coming up on one or if they're halfway through their year that kind of thing and uh, that's how that works it comes from the utilities unit and whenever I had another need to call it for instance I'm considering um, if the name any part of the name changes I'd fire the update title panel uh, if any email or phone changes same thing uh, or the date of birth and then calculate the age to go with that same thing so each time you for instance on exit of these different fields it'll update the title panel so you're always current and uh, that's how that works that's how the unit works if I think I mentioned if you want it, the particular uh, function or procedure to be global, you declare it in the interface. And then also, um, if you want to make a private function that's private only to the utilities unit, you don't have to declare it in the implementation. You just write it down after wherever it's going to fit in the utilities unit so there you have it in a nutshell update the title panel save a lot of recoding the same stuff over and over so that's it um, if you like this tutorial please click the like button and uh, subscribe if you will and hit that notification bell so you get notified of the next uh, video tutorial that I make and post. And y'all have a wonderful weekend. And I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.